Hi, uh, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the effect of impurities on melting point. So when you've done your calorimetry, chances are you'll have probably got a melting point that is a bit different to the data book value that you've looked up. So across here with the pure compound, this is where you would Google that, the data book value. And as we can see, it's nice and ordered. We've got lots of intermolecular forces in our case, since we're just looking at the organic substances of various waxes and things. And so that would be taking place between all of the various bits there, depending upon what the actual molecule is. It can be anything dipole, dipole, hydrogen bonding, maybe uh, ion dipole, etc. within there. But the idea is it's got a nice, rigid, solid structure there, very ordered, so lots of forces taking place. Now, here, this is where we've got an impurity put in. And as we can see with the impurity, it's messed up this nice, ordered structure within there. So what we're going to see is two key things. Up here in this region, it's still ordered. So the melting point is going to be roughly the same as the pure substance. However, this region here, where the impurity is, so we've now got some disorder. Uh, depending upon what level of chemistry you're at, you can start looking at this in terms of entropy and things, but I'm just going to be sticking with a more simplistic explanation. So if it's not ordered anymore, then what we see are less intermolecular forces. So without that nice ordered structure, we can't get them occurring between all the various bits within there. So if we've got less intermolecular forces, and less energy is required, we break them. And if less energy is required to break them, and the melting point will be lower. So this region, the melting point is still going to be fairly high. This region, the melting point is going to be lower. So what we see is it now melts over a range. So pure substances have a nice crisp melting point that's very sharp impure substances melt over a range so it may say rather than having a melting point of 70 if it's impure it could melt over a range of 60 to 65 celsius instead so the idea is here that the impurity messes up the order we've got disorder in there less intermolecular forces can take place the less energy required to break them and hence the melting point lower thank you